everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm, it may sound a little different and it may look a little different because I'm at my girlfriend's down in North Carolina. And she's at work today, and I have a little buddy over here. His name is Chase. He's a little papillon that's keeping me company, so you'll hear him jingling around. What I wanted to share with you today is I went and we did some antiquing over the weekend, um, just antique shops and thrift shops and that kind of stuff. And I want to show you what I got because these are really, really cool. Um, the first thing that I found are these. They're supposed to be earrings. Look at those. Can you see them? How cool are they? I thought, oh, these are so cool. They're going to look so good on a journal. That was my first thought when I saw them. I was like, oh, these are just fantastic. So these were two bucks with, I don't know, 30% off or something. I think I got both pair for $2.70 or something like that. And this is the other pair. Look at that. Chaser. It's okay. Come here. Shh. If he starts squealing really loud, I'm sorry. It's because he might see an animal outside, like a squirrel. He screeches. <laughs> That's the case. I'll shut the video camera off. But anyways, isn't that cool? Look at that. And there's two of them, of course, earrings. And that way I can use them on two separate journals or I can have them on two places on journals. I just thought they were really, really cool. So when you're out um, in the junk stores and thrift shops, keep your eyes out for earrings because a lot of times they make really cool embellishments, especially something this, um, you know, this adorned, I want to say. I don't know as I'd ever wear these. These I might. Believe it or not, I may wear those. <laughs> I doubt it. They're going to go on journals, but um, those are really cool. So that's the first thing I wanted to show to you. And this video is going to be a little bit longer because I have something really good to share. All right, this is the other thing I picked up. And this is, um, it says, I think it says Bob's Merrill Second Reader, Bearer and Baker. And I only paid $3 for this book, but there's something about it. The, the paper, it just feels so cool. And it has these really cool little illustrations in it. Um, it was just, I don't know, for some reason it, it came off the shelf into my hands and said, you're going, I'm going home with you. And it's just really, really neat. I love the paper. I love the, the fact that it's so old. Um, whether or not I alter this, that's yet to be seen. I'm not really sure if I'm going to. I don't know. Um, but it just, it had to come home with me. And I paid three bucks for that. So I just love it. I love the wear on it. I love the oldness of it. So that's really cool. Um, this, I bought it with the thought in mind to use it, um, make an altered journal out of it. It's called Feeding the Flock. It's Hopewell Women's Auxiliary Recipe Binder. Okay, it's got a really nice cover on it. And it's got this happy thing inside. I think that's the whole, I'm not sure what that's quite for, but anyways, it works. Um, and then it's just recipes. Well, the other night I sat there looking through it and I'm like, there's some recipes in here I really want to try. And what I like about it is the fact that it's, I'm going to say quote unquote normal recipes, not like a chef's recipe. It's actual normal. Here's a thing for cream puffs and I want to try to make those. Never made them. But um, so it, will it get altered? Maybe after I try some recipes out of here, but I really like um, I really like the binder, and I thought it was really cool, so I think I paid five bucks for that. But hey, it's okay. It's all good because I can get recipes out of it. So there's those. Now, another one that I found, and I want to go through this with you because it's just so cool. This intrigued the crap out of me. It's just a mason jar, a ball mason jar, and it says, full of miscellaneous stuff. Okay? And if you look at it, that's it. It's actually full of miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to open this and we're going to see what's in here. I haven't looked yet. Um, this is a little palette I found in Hobby Lobby over by the party section. I just thought it was cool. So let's look. All right. Let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to start dumping. Hopefully things don't go all over. 
And I know I'm not going to get all this back in there probably, but oh my goodness, look at the goodies. We've got some checkers. These are actually really cool because uh, they have an indent, so I could actually do um, glass beads and clear, res or clear resin or uh, glossy accents on those and make little pieces for in the journals. That would be really cool. Um, I need to go get my glasses. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. The only thing I could see was blobs. <laughs> okay, so again, we have more earrings, which is really cool because, like I said, you can, you know, use these. That's some kind of a, it's got numbers on it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know what that is. Maybe something for a buttonhole? Not sure. More really cool. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just really pretty earrings. A little coin that says something on it. Don't know, some kind of club coin. Just some beads. Oh, that's neat. No idea what that is, but that's kind of cool. Another earring. Oh, look at the kitty cat. It's a kid. It's an earring. <laughs> that's cute. It says something on the back of it, but I can't. Something cats. Oh, that's cute. That kitty cat. Here, let me zoom you guys in. So you can look at all the goodies. <laughs> little ring. Got beads. I just don't want stuff rolling away. This chaser or something lands on the floor and he's after. Oh, there's a little pig. <laughs> look how tiny he is. <laughs> a cuff. That's pretty. That's neat. Oh, look at that one. Now this jar, another earring, um, I paid $10 for, which is all good. That's neat, another earring. Um, but I just, I thought, there was just something that really intrigued me about it, and I thought, you know, I've got to, I have to get that jar. I actually went back into the store and got it. Um, look at this earring. Wouldn't that make a beautiful um just on the front of a journal or um, along the spine of a journal depending on how big it is. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. You could always take that apart also and use it. Some kind of little jemmy thing. Little jemmies. Buttons. More earrings. These are all just beads. They actually look like um, I think they're clay beads. I think they are clay beads. All right, let me just pick up some more of these beads. Like I said, I just don't want Chaser to eat any of them. He's a good boy. He's hanging out right here by my feet. Huh, Chase? So we got some goodies in here. Let's see. Hmm, just a gold necklace. These are pretty. Got like opal or mother pearl on them. You pretty? Oh, red, white, and blue. Another pair of earrings. And what I'll do is I will take, most likely take all this stuff home and dump it in a um, thing of bleach water just because that's what I prefer to do. And uh, then I'll use it in my art. All right, so there's all little goodies, more gems. A little snowflake. So those are really cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I don't want to bore you guys too long. A little wooden wooden thingy. You can make a little guy out of that. A couple more beads. A top. You guys remember these? Or Jack, I mean. Play Jacks. It's pretty. It's been a long time since I've played Jacks. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, look at the Coke bottle. <laughs> That's cute. That'd be neat on a collage. Another gem. Huh, little deer. Got something on it. A bell. 
some buttons. I'm still drinking my morning coffee. I'm surprised I'm as uh, <clears throat> awake as I am. It was a late night last night. Oh, that's a pretty earring. See that one? Isn't that pretty? Don't mind my dry hands. Sorry. Um, let's see. More earrings. Some kind of a badge or pin. A little earring. Well, that's cute. A little butterfly earring. And a lot of these, what I'll do, like the earrings, I'll take the backs off them and I'll just use the gem on the front. I'm not sure what that is. Just a, looks like plastic. All right. More of these. I think these are handmade. I really do. I think these are handmade clay balls. That's what they feel like. All right, what else we got in here? This little guy. He's cute. Sheriff's badge. No, deputy. Frontier Town Deputy, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, get back here, you. Hold on, I'm chasing balls. <laughs> chasing them. Oops. Huh, that's cute. This little guy. Another earring. This one looks handmade. Either hand decorated, maybe. That'd be cute on the front of a journal. Buttons. Another pretty gem. More buttons. That's pretty. A little pretty gem. This was, I'd say, that's where all these seed beads are coming from. So that was a string of beads of some type. Oh, here's a set of horseshoes. Another pretty earring. So pretty. Look at this, we aren't even, we aren't even halfway through it yet. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Just goodies, that's cool. That's really neat. That's really neat. What's this one? Love old earrings to use on stuff. Oh, there's a little, little plastic guy, like a circus piece. Remember those? Those were out not too long ago. Everybody was making earrings out of those. Ah, huh. that's supposed to be a dog. Looks kind of creepy to me. <laughs> it was a creepy dog. Creepy dog. We have an arrow. We have a bunny. Cardboard bunny. A couple more buttons. We have an old perfume jar. Let's see what else we got in here. Just another clasp, another chain long chain. Ha! We have a little puppy. <laughs> He's cute. Let's see what we got More buttons. Another piece of jewel. That's different. That'd be really cool on the spine of a book. Fuzzy button. What's this guy? A little scarecrow with a teddy bear on a swing. He's cute. Ha! Huh. Well, another little puppy dog. He cute. And a piece of jewelry. That's cool. Little pieces of jewelry. And, oh, there's a little cell phone thingy and it says Skechers Girl. That's cute. Number one. That'd be cute on a journal. There's an old milk tab. Johnson's Pasteurized Milk. 
more buttons and pins and there's a cross just a row of gems another little earring no, stay over here I don't want Chase getting you alright let's see what else we got here a gem an earring with two hands on it a brooch really needs cleaned all this stuff needs cleaned just some some of these little chain thingies uh, let's see another piece of jewelry this is all chain hmm. an earring Oh, look at the little poodle. I think that's a poodle. See him? <laughs> he cute. Little poodle. This is a big egg. This looks like a big egg. I won't call it. Alright. Wash and return. Pure milk bottles. Look at this old block. Look at that. That's really cool. I like that. That one's pretty. Another milk top, bottle top. We got all the little beads. Huh, got a screwdriver. Well, that's an old screwdriver, too. That's a really old screwdriver. A little tiny one. We had a little bottle. That's cute. A cute little bottle. A padlock. More gems. Here's the key. I know everybody's asking, does it unlock it? Does it unlock it? Let's find out. Not that way it does it. Nope. No unlocking. But there's the key. Okay, all right, let's see what this thing is. Oh, another screwdriver. These are both flatheads. Those are cute. They'd go great on a mixed media canvas. Look at this little egg. Little house on it. <laughs> That's funny. More buttons. Another gem. This says for progress in writing. Hmm. And more buttons. So, what do you guys think of that? You'll have to let me know. Um, very interesting. I don't think I'm going to get all this stuff back in there, but I'm sure as heck going to try. So, um, very cool. Very, very cool. So, while you're out and about and, you know, looking in antique shops and whatever, whenever you find something that's just a miscellaneous bottle of whatever's, Hey, pick it up. You never know what you're going to find in here. And I'm going to have a lot of fun using this stuff in my art. So um, I'm sure you'll be seeing some of it coming up in some videos. So that's my little uh, find so far. Um, I just got here on Thursday. Today is a Monday. So um, I'm sure I'll be finding more goodies. And if and when I do, I will share with you. So, as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll chat with hey you soon. Bye-bye. that video, as always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and, as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.